Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Today we're going to talk about the grips on the serve, what kind of grips you should use and what kind of effect it has on your serve. So let's start with the continental grip. To find your continental grip, you can put your index finger pointing on the edge and go around it. Make sure you leave your index finger a little bit higher up, you see, so your fingers are spread out. With this grip, you can hit using the pronation and get into the ball with a flat shot. You can also try to hit spin or slice. It's a most common grip for the serve. Now, if you want to give more spin, you can add, like, you can get a more extreme grip by moving, if you're a right-handed, your hand to the left. But in this case, you have to toss the ball a little bit more behind you, and here you can give more spin or slice on the side. Uh, but it's more difficult to hit flat because that way, if you, like, you have to go for extreme pronation. Now, a lot of people who just start playing tennis, they almost use like a forehand grip. And if you do that, you have a lack of pronation. You see, you, you can just like slap the ball. It's easier to get the surface of the racket going onto the contact point, but with this grip, there is no way you can start like spinning or slicing it. Like there's no progression and you cannot really make yourself uh, serve better with this grip. But getting it in at first, probably yes. Hitting it hard, well, not as hard as if you would hit like this with uh, pronation. In conclusion, the continental grip has the most potential. So try to stick with it in order to progress. If you're just playing every once in a while and you don't really care about the quality of your serve, then you can use a Eastern forehand grip just to get the ball in the court, but it will not take your game really far. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.